Hello comic book community, Long Box of Affair here. This channel is your home for comic book hauls for silver, bronze, copper, and modern age comic books. Uh, that said, today I'm going to talk about an online comic book shop scam that I encountered uh, in the last half of the year and what I did to get out of the scam. Uh, so before I go any further, make sure you, if you like this video, thumbs it up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't uh, subscribed before, and um, if you want notifications of when I post my videos, uh, just press that bell. Uh, so getting into why I've made this video, and I've, I've held off on making this video because I don't like talking bad in the community, but I want to make sure that all of you are aware of, of some of the scams that are out there. Uh, and I'm really just going to focus on one. Uh, and it's it's kind of an extraordinary uh, scam because um, I was very protected. I paid through my credit card uh, and I have buyer protection and there's various disputes I can settle. Um, so what happened was I was surfing on a website called Comic Exposure. Uh, and I've bought from Comic Exposure one time before in like three or four years ago. Uh, I bought a variant comic. Uh, it came to me. Um, no issue. It, it, I believe it came a little late. Uh, and I may have had to reach out to them, but it eventually came uh, within a respectable amount of time. So I bought a whole stack of comic books on their website. They had a, a large assortment of books that are, are now going for decent prices on eBay. Um, and in some ways I was like, is this too good to be true? And so always remember to ask yourself that, is this deal too good to be true? And so there, there was a bunch of, of books that, uh, second printings, things that were getting hot, uh, that were ones that I wanted in my collection, some Spider-Man uh, and, and some other variant covers. Um, I'm gonna, I, I've been putting them on the screen so you can see what my shopping cart looked like. Spoiler alert, I got none of them. So I bought these comic books on September 14th or, or somewhere right around the middle of September. Um, by uh, the end of September, um, I did not have anything. I had a confirmation from them that the, the order was received, but no notification of shipping or anything. And let's be honest, the shipping is um, really difficult these days with, with uh, the pandemic and everything. So everything is really slow. But at the end of September, two weeks later, nothing. Um, so I reach out to them. I hear nothing back. I reach out to them on Instagram, not once, but twice. I hear nothing back. Uh, now keep in mind, almost every day, this shop is sending me emails. They're sending me emails for advertisements for current comic books, for variant comic books, uh, shop at their store. Uh, they inundate your inbox once they have your email address. To this day, I'm still getting emails from this organization, uh, from Comic Exposure. So uh, by the middle of October, um, I did not have comic books. It was over a month at that point where I finally was fed up and I reached out to my credit card company and just filed a dispute. Uh, the credit card company reached out and told me they will let me know when they hear back. Uh, fast forward to the beginning of November. Now keep in mind, I ordered these on September 14th. Beginning of November, like November 4th or 6th, uh, I get a confirmation that my books have shipped. And then the credit card company uh, says to me, because uh, they had ordered, given me a conditional credit uh, while well, they filed this dispute. And I spent about $127 on, on these comic books. So they gave, they gave me $127 back into my account conditionally um, when Comic Exposure said that they had, filed, they had sent the books and they, they sent the tracking to my credit card company. Um, the credit card company charged me again, which is fine if, if the books were actually shipped. So I, I keep looking, keep looking. The books are shipped from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, but they haven't been received by the postal office. So that's the lovely thing about tracking. You can see what happens and where the books are. So they haven't been received um, by uh, the post office. Um, and so they, Comic Exposure, had said, these books have shipped. Uh, so charge him again, basically. And they put together this whole document for the credit card company. I finally went back uh, right around Thanksgiving. So keep in mind, this has been a dispute open for over a month now because I've, I've been uh, con received the conditional credit I haven't received, and then it was taken away. I told the credit card company, look, it hasn't been shipped. They have uh, marked it as shipped. They created a shipping label or at least uh, some sort of verification through USPS that uh, the books had shipped, 
but they haven't delivered. Uh, I don't have books. The books are not in the system. They're not coming to me. And it's been a month at this point that those books are shipped. Um, and so uh, the credit card company gave Comic Exposure two or three days to respond. Uh, they apparently did not uh, to the satisfaction. And lo and behold, the dispute is closed. I got a refund. I did not get my books. I checked the shipping today. The shipping, and today is uh, January whatever, uh, 15th or 16th. Um, so months later, the book still show is not being received by the post office. Surprise, surprise. I do not ever expect to see these books. Um, yet Comic Exposure is still posting on Instagram, still posting on, on emails, sending it to their mailing list that they have all these books that they're gonna send you. Um, I don't know if they thought I would give up and just say, screw it, I'm gonna eat the costs. Um, I, I do not do that. I, I, I believe in fairness and getting what you pay for. And uh, the fact that they um, tried to scam me and scam the post, or scam my credit card company by saying that they shipped these books when they had no intention of doing so um, is, is downright deceitful. So um, this is my opinion. This is what I encountered. These are the facts uh, that this company did not ship me my books. And uh, to this day, I've never received them. So, um, so beware out there. Uh, it's always a buyer beware situation. Buy from trusted sellers, uh, stores, or what have you. There are always things that can muck up the system and, and prevent something from, from getting your way. And at the very least, Usually those stores in good faith will send an apology or they'll ship those books right out. Uh, that was not the case here. And, and what really irked me was that this company decided to create a mailing label to say that these books were shipped uh, and they had not gone to U the United States Postal Service at, this, at, that, at that point. So um, take what you want from this story, uh, but I just know for a fact, I will not be buying from them again. And actually I'm about to block them on my email because I am tired of seeing those emails because um, there's no hope they're getting any money from me. So, um, and in fact, there, there were a couple Facebook groups out there about uh, the deceitfulness of this company, the unreliability of this company. And in fact, when I posted something on Instagram about not receiving these books several months ago, um, several people messaged me and said, oh boy, you gotta watch out, blah, blah, blah. So um, I am not the only one that has faced uh, this challenge. Luckily, I was able to get my money back because I had credit card protection and that's the only way that they accepted funding. But I, I appreciate you all watching. I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, like I said, I didn't really wanna put negativity out in the comic book community because um, there's just so much negativity in the world these days that I felt, um, I, I just felt like this story needed to be told and, and you all needed to be made, made aware. So. I hope you all have a, a great weekend. Um, looking forward to posting more comic book haul videos. Like I said, if, if, if you like my content, subscribe, thumbs that up, and um, hit that bell. So uh, thanks again, everybody, and have a good one. All right, bye-bye.